best gems, and I'm, and I'm here to give you a small insight into what sustainable agriculture is. My thoughts before I researched was turning all the machinery into clean green machinery that didn't harm the environment. I did my own research and talked to two Kiwi farmers and got their opinions. My research told me that the need for sustainable resource management is increasingly urgent. Demand for agricultural stock is rising swiftly as more and more humans are born into our collapsing world. Something needs to change, and fast. And this is where agriculture comes into the picture. Can farmers change our future? So to help me answer some burning questions, I talked with, I talked with a sheep farmer from Southland and a dairy farmer from Colton. I asked them if they have made or are making any changes to their farms to make them more sustainable. The sheep farmer said that he and his wife are constantly making changes to their farms to fix things that past generations had changed, like straightening rivers and cutting down trees, which were all acceptable at the time. The dairy farmer said that in his 20 years on the farm, he has only made a few significant changes, like changing cow's genetics to make them produce more milk. I finally asked them if they believe Farmed animals fasting is the main cause of greenhouse gases. The dairy, farmer, the, the dairy farmer said that he doesn't think that cow farts are a large cause of greenhouse gases. Firstly, it's not fasting, but burping that is the issue. Cows burp methane, which is a greenhouse gas. Methane is a short-lived gas, and after 10 years or so, it breaks down to other gases, including carbon dioxide. So as long as we don't increase the number of ruminants in New Zealand, our methane output will remain the same. The sheep farmer said yes and no. He followed with the fact that methane is produced from animals, which is the main cause of greenhouse gases in New Zealand, approximately 53%. But no, the methane cycle is a steady state cycle, unlike burning fuel. He believes that there are many other industries that produce far more greenhouse gases than livestock. So after asking a few more questions, I was able to come, to come to a conclusion on what I think would make sustainable agriculture. To start, the government needs to fund more research to help reduce nutrient loss, methane from ruminants, and agricultural greenhouse emissions, because farms are doing everything asked of them and more. We also need to sell our agricultural story to the world and continue to be world leaders in innovation and production in sustainable ways. I am James Hunter and I hope I helped you to understand a bit more about sustainable agriculture. Thank you.